My name is Craig Stocker. I'm studying Chemical and Process Engineering at the University of Canterbury. My name is Olivia Duplan and I'm currently in my final year of Chemical and Process Engineering. My name is Lisa Mace. I work at BECA and I'm a Chemical and Process Engineer. BECA is one of Asia Pacific's largest design engineering advisory consultancies. Pretty much anything related to engineering that you can think of, we cover it. Filamir Village is a small village on the island of Uiha in Tonga. Due to climate change, the seawater rises, causing the groundwater supply to be contaminated with salt water. The drinking water that the people on the island currently use is their rainwater supply, but with long periods of no rain, that's very limited and they need a way of purifying their groundwater source. Within the village at the moment, they have a groundwater bore. This bore that they have is what they use for cleaning, showering, things like that, not for drinking water. We're getting a pump system that's in the bore to pump up the salty water into our process. It goes through a tank and it's separated out into two different outlets. One of them's going to be untreated water that they can still use for cleaning and then another that's going to go through the process to produce clean drinking water. Our solution starts with a sand filter which can just be beach sand which removes all the biological contaminants in the groundwater. We then move into a water softener which removes all the hard ions and then we use a membrane to separate the salt from the water. A reverse osmosis membrane is a piece of equipment which is used to separate the salt from salty water. The salty water is pushed into the membrane and water is allowed to pass through but the salt remains on the surface of the membrane and is washed away into a reject stream. After the RO membrane we're adding calcium hypochlorite ions to further disinfect the water before it's then pumped out and distributed to the village. Our next step for the project is to look at control schemes and methods of automating the process so that the people on the island don't have to manually open valves and things like that. And then we'll do a cost analysis so we can look at funding options. The main thing that surprised me is the wide range of information that they considered. They didn't just look at the treatment plant and how to treat the raw water and remove the salt. They looked at the reticulation, they looked at culturally what would be acceptable, they thought about how you would get chemicals to the island, how the operators would maintain the assets, they looked at the full picture. Initially this was just a theoretical problem, we didn't think that it was going to be implemented but as we've gone along we've actually been in contact with the government of Tonga and also talking to the people in the village so there is possibilities and we are trying to get our design put in place on the island. I think the real world aspect has just made it so much more meaningful, being able to see how our engineering skills that we learn and our degree at UC can actually be applied. It has the potential to change people's lives and that's a really rewarding thing. I think for us it's a great reminder of what students are capable of and what they're passionate about and it's also important for us to work with the university so we're on top of the research they're doing, uh, just maintaining that connection. We see a lot of value in that.